Welcome to Master K Underline Daily Read. I am Master K and this is one of my favourite books called The Perfect Pet. And it's the same as Creepy Castle here. A creepy castle. And written by Liz Norton and Mitchell Gartu. Everyone knows that. Perfect pet. Skelly Nelly, I mean, <laughs> Creepy Castle stood on top of a creepy hill in the middle of a creepy forest. Two skeletons lived there. Their names were Skelly Nelly and Bony Tony. One rainy day, Skelly Nelly ran and Bony, Skellin, one rainy day, Skelly Nelly and Bony Tony were playing in a room on the top of the castle tower. Let's play a cheeky dormy. Look, says Skelly Nelly, I found a bat. The bat was hanging from the roof fast asleep. She's so cute. She's so cute, Kenny Nelly said. Let's keep her as, as her pet and call her Batty. A bat's a boring pet, said Bony Tony. She'll sleep all day. We need the real pet. Nothing that Jumping to guard the creepy castle. Bernie Tony ran downstairs to find the zoo. I like a pet, he said. Please send me a wolf. This wolf will be not happy. The wolf arrived later that day. He had thick fur and sharp white Teeth and angry yellow eyes. That's just what I need, said Bernie Tony. A wolf is a perfect pet. I'm going to call him Fang. Fang doesn't sound like a real word. Bernie Tony tried Fang. Up outside, don't let anyone into Creepy Castle, he said. Fang threw back his head and howled loudly. Bony Tony's bones were so perfect, he cheered. That afternoon, Bony Tony went to Skelly Nelly in the tower. She was reading a book, waiting for Betty to wake up. I'm going to buy Fang some food, said Bernie Tony. Outside Fang was still guarding Creepy Castle. Good boy, said Bernie Tony. He was the only man who frightened the people away. Good boy, said Bernie Tony. I'm going to get Get you some food. I'll be back soon. And Bernie Tony came back from the shop. Fan couldn't let him in. He growled ferociously and barked his sharp teeth. Let me in, come on, come on, Bernie Tony. I live here. Fan broke away from the drawbridge and charged at Bernie Tony. Charge! Bernie Tony screamed and ran into the forest, climbing a tree just in time. Help! Skilling! Help! Skilling! Help! He shouted, but Fang was so, so loudly that Skilling Nelly couldn't hear him. When it got dark, dark, Betty woke up. 
Hello, I'm Skinny Nanny said. Skinny Nanny said. Skinny. Skinny Nanny. Skinny Nanny said. Skinny. Again. Hello, yeah. I'm Skinny Nanny said. Skinny. Good boy. You can be my new pet. I'm going to call you Bucky. Skelly Nanny was climbing down the stairs, sitting in bed, out the window. Hey, this bubbly. Bucky flew out of the window. Come back! Skelly Nanny cried, looking out of the window. Then she saw Bony Tony up in a tree beneath him. Oh no, cried Skelly Nelly, racing down out of the castle. At that moment, Betty swapped at Fang and clawed the wolf's head again and again. Fang howled in pain and fell deep into Fled. the forest. Fled deep into the forest. Batty chased him to make sure he didn't come back. Bony climbed down from the tree Bony and Tony. raced to Skelly Nelly. Are you okay? She asked. I'm fine, he said. Quick, let's get back into the castle. Together they crossed the door bridge and run up the tower. When Betty returned, Bony Tony he stood to gratefully. Well done, Batty, he cried. You don't want a wolf as a pet. So you don't want a wolf as a pet anymore? Asked Skelly Nanny. No, I don't, said Baloney Tony. <coughs> Tony replied. Batty is the perfect pet. Thank you for watching Master K Bedtime Story. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye.